Today is a video based on a viewer's request, bad guys we can't hate, those we feel some empathy for and have some redeeming qualities. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like, share and subscribe to get my new videos. Walter Brennan, the Westerner, three-time Academy Award winner, an American actor and singer. Brennan won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his performances in Come and Get It, 1936, Kentucky, 1939, and The Westerner, 1940, making him one of only three male actors to win three Academy Awards, and the only male or female actor to win three awards in the Supporting Actor category. Bad guys we root for in westerns. James Cagney, Tribute to a Bad Man, a 1956 western directed by Robert Wise, starring James Cagney about a rancher whose harsh enforcement of frontier justice alienates the woman he loves. It was based on the short story Hangings for the Lucky by Jack Schaefer, the author of Shane. I'll never know. Irene Pappas. Remember that name. And MGM also awarded her a long-term contract for her portrayal of the seductive Jocasta. Take that cigarette out of your mouth. You ain't playing piano in a hurdy-gurdy place now. I was smoking a cigarette the first time you saw me, and it wasn't such a place. You told me you loved it. You said make me look feisty. Do you want me to change? Good thinking, boy. Good thinking. But it ain't gonna get your horse. My pa should have killed you 20 years ago. He was courageous, reckless. He knew how to be gay. He was a man completely confident, the master of all he surveyed. Man turns his back, they steal anything. A horse? A woman? No one's stealing me. Horses you know. But about human beings, you know nothing. John Cassavetes, Saddle the Wind, a 1958 I Western directed by Robert Parrish, starring Robert Taylor, Julie London, and John Cassavetes. Retired former Confederate soldier, Steve Sinclair, Robert Taylor is living as a rancher. He collaborates with the main landowner, Dennis Deenan, Donald Crisp, from whom he rents the ranch to preserve communal stability. His quiet life is disrupted by his emotionally unstable younger brother, Tony, John Cassavetes, and Tony's beautiful girlfriend, Joan, Julie London. The savage force that drove Tony to defy everything and everybody. Tony! Hey, what's the matter with you? I proved I was twice the gunman you ever were. I proved that I had stock in an open range. I was willing to fight for it. I proved... I proved that you were jealous of me. Oh, boy, Steve. You better open your eyes. Because I'm not just a kid brother anymore. Dan Durier. Six Black Horses. Bordy Murphy and Dan Durier hired by a woman to take her across dangerous Indian territory to her husband. She tries to seduce Audie by offering a deal to give him Durier's share of the money if he will help her to kill Durier for having killed her husband. Audie's loyalty to his friend prevails. In the end, however, Murphy is forced to kill Durier in a shootout when Durier draws on him in a greedy attempt to finish the job. Lyle Betka, Showdown at Abilene, a 1956 I don't like Western the job, directed by that... Burt Lancaster, Vera Cruz, a 1954 Western directed by Robert Aldrich, starring Gary Cooper and Burt Lancaster, featuring Denise Darcel, Sarah Montiel, Cesar Romero, Ernest Borgnine, Charles Bronson, and Jack Elam. Set during the Franco Mexican War. The film centers on a group of American mercenaries tasked with transporting a large shipment of Imperial gold to the port of Veracruz, but begin to have second thoughts about their allegiances. A motion picture that stands alone in its breathless excitement. 
Veracruz, unique in the annals of screen entertainment. Each one of those six boxes contains half a million dollars in gold. How do we know we can trust you? How do I know I can trust you? Countess, you're beginning to talk my language. Looks like we tied up with the wrong outfit. Walter Houston, The Virginian, a 1929 pre-code western directed by Victor Fleming, starring Gary Cooper, Walter Houston, and Richard Arlen. The Virginian is about a good-natured cowboy who romances the new school mom and has a crisis of conscience when he learns his best friend is involved in cattle rustling. The film is considered to be Gary Cooper's breakthrough role and is well known for Cooper's line, if you want to call me that, smile, in response to a cuss by the antagonist, Walter Houston. With a gun against my belly, I... I always smile. <laughs> John Forsyth, Escape from Fort Bravo. A 1953 western set during the American Civil War, directed by John Sturgis. It stars William Holden, Eleanor Parker and John Forsyth. Fort Bravo is a Union prison camp with a strict disciplinarian named Captain Roper, William Holden. A pretty woman named Carla Forrester, Eleanor Parker, shows up to help with the wedding of her friend, but has really come to assist in freeing some prisoners, including her previous beau, Confederate Captain John Marsh. John Forsyth. Roper falls in love with her and she with him and the escape happens after the wedding celebration and Carla unexpectedly leaves with the four Confederate escapees. This gives Roper an additional motive to recapture the escapees. Plot, it's been so long just to touch you again. Darling, I know, I know. And smile. Falling in love with that girl, Roper? Have you got the money? You're beginning to act human. You even showed fear so that Johnny Reb might run away with her. There's only one danger. Captain Roper. Things happen fast and unexpectedly. What are you trying to do? Kill him? Why don't you take it out on me? That's what you'd really like to do. I'm the one who made a fool out of you. Jeff Chandler. The Jayhawkers, a 1959 western directed by Melvin Frank, starring Jeff Chandler as Luke Darcy and Fess Parker as Cam Bleeker. The film is set in pre-Civil War Kansas. Darcy leads a gang which seeks to take advantage of Bleeding Kansas, loosely based on abolitionist John Brown. Bleeker joins the gang. The supporting cast features Henry Silver and Leo Gordon. And we should make that our way. Our way, Darcy. Charles Bronson, Drumbeat. A 1954 western directed by Delma Daves. Alan Ladd stars along with Audrey Dalton, Charles Bronson and Captain Jack, and Hayden Rourke as President Ulysses S. Grant. An early role for Charles Bronson, originally Buczynski, who plays Captain Jack as a memorable villain wearing the coat of a deceased U.S. Cavalry captain prior to murdering General Edward Canby, Warner Anderson, during a peace negotiation. Bronson's character puts on a general's coat and announces to the audience, me, General Jack Now. Now what called me? Oh! Pulling the trigger, Jack. You alone here. If you want to see all my new videos as they come up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Catch all my other videos by looking at my channel. The link is in the description. Leave me your comments. Check out my Facebook page as well. Like and share. I am Wrangler. Adios. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.